And the first question we have from a survey, if you let me, Oli, I'll read it for, for us. Yes. So we have, yeah, and for your convenience, I also highlighted the most important things. Here, we have many parties involved, and it's, uh, this question is quite about the parties. So we have freehold owner, we have new uh, uh, news agent, uh, we have closing retailer, so uh, chemist and bookstore. So um, it's a question, let me just read it. A freeholder granted a 15 years commercial lease of a property in 2008 to a news agent. The news agent subsequently assigned the lease to a closing retailer. The closing retailer assigned the lease to a chemist. The chemist assigned the lease to a bookstore. All the assignments were made with the landlord's consent, so there have been no breach of that. For the assignment of the closing retailer, the freeholder required an authorized guarantee agreement from the news agent. Similarly, the freeholder required an authorized guarantee agreement from the chemist when the lease was assigned to the bookstore. So we have two agas here. The bookstore has failed to pay the last quarter's rent. Apart from the bookstore, from whom can the freeholder recover the outstanding rent? So obviously, bookstore is the first option. It's just not given in the answers. That's what they're trying to say. We straight away can subdivide all the answers into two groups. And we will see through the whole session, today's session, that it's quite often is the case. If you clearly know that, for example, chemist is one of those, so you can um, actually identify that A, B, or E are correct answers and limit uh, incorrect answers. Oli, let's analyze the situation and um, to, in order to explain to the students how we actually come up with the right answer and what is the right answer here. The, the first two things that I spot when I look at the question, so we know it's a commercial lease, so I look at the date of 2008, and the mention of the authorized guarantee agreement, the ARGA. So from the date, we can tell that it's a new lease. Um, so it's after uh, 1st of January, 1996, when we had the, the Landlord and Tenant Covenants Act 1995 come into force. So because it's a new lease, we know that the, the liability of tenants usually is released when a, a lease is assigned, which is why we have the ARGA. So that automatically tells us that we don't have the same situation where we can look back up the chain of previous owners in terms of recovering the rent. So it sets really the, the stage for how we're going to assess the rest of the question. What do you think is the right answer here? Uh, I went with uh, B. And actually, when I, when I first looked at this, I was a little bit confused <laughs> because of the way that it's worded. It starts with, apart from the bookstore, the current um, the current tenant. And I didn't see the bookstore mention the answers. And it, it's an example of when you assume that you know what the question says, but actually mm -hmm. you haven't read the question carefully enough, uh, which is very, very important. Why, why the chemist only is the right answer? Uh, the chemist only, because if we work backwards in a chain, I, what I actually did was to draw this out. So I started at the top and I said, there's the news agent is the original tenant. They assigned to the clothing retailer. There was an Arga. The clothing retailer assigned to the chemist. There was no Arga. The chemist assigned to the bookstore. There was an Arga. So we're at the bottom of the chain with the bookstore who owes the rent and they breached the covenant. So we go up the chain. There's an Arga. We have the chemist. Okay. Uh, so the chemist is the logical option. Beyond that, even if we wanted to, we couldn't go any further. It would be unusual for all of the chemist's obligations to have been guaranteed by the clothing retailer in an AGA. And the common practice as well would be for the uh, clothing retailer to be released from those obligations on a further assignment anyway. But there is just nothing above the chemist. If we draw this out in a chain, there's nothing beyond the chemist. So that's where the, the chain stops. We can see the very clear link between the bookstore and the chemist, and, and that's as far as we need to go. 